uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this session uh, so today we will solve this interview question okay so actually we have to find uh, what is the r out okay like looking in impedance at this node okay and uh, we know that to find r out like the impedance looking at a node what we do we apply a test voltage there with respect to ground let's say vt and we find the current coming out of this a voltage source let's say it and then we take the ratio vt over it then we get the output impedance right and this is like and and we do the small signal analysis right so we know that and and here what we do we do all the independent sources independent sources are inactive right sources are inactive this means if we have a, a, a independent uh, independent let's say voltage source then it will be short circuit and if we have a independent uh, current source then it will be open circuit right and and uh, here we have mosfets so we know the small signal model of a mosfet is looking like this right and this is a small signal vgs and this is our output resistance of the mosfet that is rds okay so 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 we can do this method but here we will do the intuition okay like we will find like we will not write any kcl and kbs not we, we will not apply the like uh, test voltage and find the test current we will solve this intuitively okay so let's start so we can see that this bias is a independent sources right so this is a voltage source so this will be grounded right like short circuited so if we short circuited so this will be short circuited to the ground right now now for this uh, for this m2 mosfet what is the small signal vgs this is our small signal vg and this is our small signal vs right so the vgs for this m2 mosfet is zero right because this is ground and this is ground so small signal vgs is ground right so what will be the what will be this dependent sources so this will be zero right so if a depend like current source is zero then what it will like x uh, like how it will act it will act as open circuit right so we can find that and and we have and and for this m2 we have a resistance let's say rds2 right so we can we can write for m2 is there is only present a rds2 right and this is ground because this point is ground so there is no dependent current source present for m2 right and we can also this see that the small signal let's say vg1 and vs2 right uh, vs1 right we can see that again here the vg and vgs is sorted like this is same point right then what would be the vgs1 this will be zero again right so we can find that for this mosfet as well there is no dependent current source like this right because this vgs is zero so if the current source uh, like the uh, current source is zero like zero ampere or zero milliampere then it is like a open circuit right so we can see that for this mosfet as well there is no dependent current sources so there is only present a rds1 right so this will be nothing but a rds1 now you can you, you can easily find what is the looking in impedance here right so what will be that so we can see that there is only two resistance in series so what will be the output impedance this will be nothing but rds1 plus rds2 okay so this is how we can solve this circuit intuitively if you if you do this model and write kcl and kvls you will find the same thing okay so this is our final answer so this is a very like very simple but very like i can say very interesting question right because there is like for this two mosfet there is not present any dependent voltage source because because it becomes zero so it will act as a open circuit right so this is how we can solve this uh, circuit okay so if you like our video you can subscribe our channel and please give your valuable feedbacks okay thank you